Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a closer look at the definitions we need to know in order to do proofs. So here are the same ones that we had on the previous board. And now let's take a look at what they actually mean. The midpoint, well, the midpoint of a line segment is the point that divides a segment into two congruent segments. So here we have a line segment. There's the midpoint. And on either side of the midpoint, these line segments are congruent, meaning they have the same length. A segment bisector is a point or a line that intersects a line segment at its midpoint. So here we have a line segment, there's the midpoint, there we have a line going through the midpoint, that line then becomes what we call the segment bisector. It doesn't have to be perpendicular. Perpendicular lines. If two lines intersect to form a right angle, then they are perpendicular lines. Here we have two lines, they intersect one another, they form, well, actually four 90 degree angles, so therefore they must be perpendicular lines. Congruent angles have the same angle measure. So here we have two angles, they have the same measure indicated by the little symbol, which means that those two are what we call congruent angles. A linear pair reference to angles, a linear pair of angles, share a common side and they are supplementary angles. So here are two angles, they share a common side and the measure of both of them added, added together add up to 180 degrees, which by definition makes them what we call supplementary angles. Intersecting lines share one and only one point here is an example, two lines cross each other, that's called an intersection, and they only share a single point, not more than a single point. Complementary angles, the sum of their measures add up to 90 degrees. Here's an example of two angles together, their angle of measure add up to 90 degrees. And supplementary angles, the sum of their measures add up to 180 degrees by definition, that's what supplementary angles are. And here you can see an example, they share a common side, so therefore they're adjacent, as well as their angular measures add up to 180 degrees. The way you can tell the difference between complementary angles and supplementary angles, because we tend to confuse those two words, C for complementary is before S in the alphabet, and therefore you can relate that to 90 degrees being smaller than 180 degrees. So the C, which comes first, is associated with 90 degrees. The S, which comes after, is associated to 180 degrees. That's the way I keep track of those two names. An angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. So here we have an angle. There's the bisector, so it takes that angle and divides it into two congruent angles, again indicated by that symbol. Adjacent angles share a common side. So here we have an angle, here we have another angle, and there's a common side that they both share. They don't have to be congruent, although they could be. And vertical angles are formed when two lines intersect and, and the angles are opposite to one another. So here we have two lines that intersect. Let's say that here we have angle three, and there we have angle four, and notice that angle 1 is equal to angle 2, angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Angle 1 and angle 2 are vertical angles, angle 3 and angle 4 are vertical angles, angle 2 and 3 are adjacent angles, angle 1 and 4 are adjacent angles, 1 and 3 are adjacent angles, and 2 and 4 are adjacent angles. But the ones that are opposite to one another are called vertical angles. And those are the definitions that we need in order to do proofs.